Hey guys, today Blueberry and I are sharing our recipe for small birds to make your own human grade seed mix straight at home. No more commercial ones, right Blue? Right cute little Blue. <laughs> All right, I get a lot of questions based around parrot nutrition, and normally the focus is on small, medium, and large birds, but only small birds to about the size of my sun conures, since that's what I have in my flock. But since I recently added my budgie blueberry, I've been getting asked a lot more questions regarding small bird diet, and especially seed and diet conversion. A lot of you are totally stuck on how to convert the small birds onto a healthy diet. So as most of you know, I have a nutritional course, and this is my main cookbook in that course. What this course goes over is my natural feeding system. And what that is, is just as in the wild with the seasons changing, the food sources would change. That's what we try to mimic in captivity by changing your recipes within the seasons. So whatever is seasonal for you at that time is what we put into that recipe. It's super balanced and it makes up for the nutritional loss of what you're gonna lose when you freeze it. We have made up for that in what goes into the, these recipes. So don't worry about that, but it is something that you can make in large batches, freeze, and then thaw as needed in the portions that you need. Now this works great for me because I have a very large flock and when I added blueberry to my flock I realized that small birds really love that crunchy texture, at least mine does. So I tend to make smaller batches or keep smaller quantities of the ingredients on hand and really make it fresh every three days or so for, for this little one. So one of the things that you can do with diet conversion is I know a lot of you feel really crappy about having your small birds on an all seed diet because they refuse to eat anything else. And I feel you on this, there's some of the hardest species to diet convert over off of seeds. And since most breeders wean onto seeds because it's easier, faster, and they can push more birds out the door, it just kind of sets us owners up for failure long-term to try to change that and get them off of it. So what I'm gonna show you today is my seasonal feeding system and my recipe for the seed mix that I give to Blueberry. So the best thing that you can do if you're really struggling hard with diet conversion, this is if your small bird won't eat fresh food, your small bird won't eat a, or try a pellet, um, and you're on the same store-bought seed as you started your bird with. Um, this is for you guys. <laughs> so the next best step that you can do, I wanna make you, I wanna make sure that you guys feel like you're making progress in the respect of diet with your bird. So the best thing that you can do next is convert from your store-bought crappy commercial seed mix to an organic human grade seed mix that you make at home. So I'm gonna show you and share my recipe with you and what I did with blueberry when I brought blueberry home for the first time and worked on diet conversion super heavily. Now, commercial seed mixes have all the dyes in them. You'll know them straight away because they tend to have a kind of drier ingredients, a lot of um, dust at the bottom, and just from like brittle ingredients and things like that. And then of course the colors, the colorful, colorful colors and all the dyes in there. So. The idea is to get from your commercial seed mix to your organic seed mix. So you guys will wanna source these ingredients online. I personally used Amazon because it's super convenient. And then when everything arrived, I was able to make my seed mix, no problem. Okay, so let's get to the actual recipe and then I will show you how to get your budgie or your other small bird eating this. So a little variation to my recipe is you can either use one pound of millet or you can use a half pound of millet and a half pound of quinoa as your base. Then you're gonna add one cup of oat groats, one cup of hemp seed, a half cup of brown flax seed whole, one cup of chia seed, one half cup of rape seed, and one whole cup of rolled oats. You're just simply going to mix all of that together and it's going to be beautiful, especially compared to the dyes in commercial seed mixes. It's a huge step up to get from a commercial seed to an organic human grade seed mix. So pat yourselves on the back if you make it this far and you're able to convert your bird to at least a healthier version of a seed mix. 
Now, how you can use this seed mix is in more diet conversion techniques. So you can take my seasonal feeding system, which I put a little bit in this bowl for blueberry. And then I also have my organic seed mix here. And I would just put a little bit of my seed mix in with my seasonal feeding and put it all around and mix it up so that it's sticking to the seasonal feeding system. Now initially, yes, your bird is just gonna be going for the seeds and picking it out. But while it's doing that, it's going to be trying the foods that are also sticking there and it's gonna be getting these new flavors and learning that it likes and dislikes some of them. Hopefully it likes all of them. The next trick that I wanna offer you guys is using some sort of binding ingredient. Now this is up to you and based on your bird's likes and preferences. For me, I've used anything from hard boiled eggs where I hard boil them, I mash them up, I even add a little bit of water just to make them extra sticky and moist. And then I mix that with my seasonal feeding system. So now it's binding all those vegetables together within the egg. Then I sprinkle the seed mix into that so that it's just a stickier mixture where everything is really severely binded together and the bird can't help but get all that yummy stuff on its beak. So this is working if your bird looks up from its food and it has all of it stuck to its face. That's kind of the idea, is you wanna sort of trick your bird into trying these foods to realize that they like it. Another good binding ingredient is sweet potato. You can puree it. You can also do the same thing with boiled carrots or steamed carrots. Um, anything that you can get into that into that texture um, is really ideal. You just wanna get something that is sticking and holding everything together. I know some people who have used uh, Greek yogurt and things of that such. Um, there's a lot more ideas in this book if you guys wanna to refer to that or come up with your own. It's really up to you. You just wanna to try to get the ultimate success with your bird trying new foods because the more it tries new foods, the more open it'll be to trying more and more new foods and realizing that he likes it. Your presence is requested. Can you show everybody how yummy homemade seed mix is? I also want to point out, I know that small bird, like I've said before, small species of parrots are really hard to convert in diet. And I don't want you guys to think that my nutrition system is not for the small birds, because it actually is. I had two white budgies at the time that I produced this, and with my friend Patty, who had cockatiels at the time, and so they are featured throughout this book. Let me try to bring up a photo of them. There's one of my budgies. <laughs> so there's a lot of variety we had Libby the Quaker, Theo the Goffins, a um, lot of variety in here, and we do show taste testing on small birds. So I don't want you guys to feel like this is only a medium to large bird system. This is for all species of parrots. It just discludes the lorry or the lorikeets because they have a more fruit-based nectar diet. One of the side effects you will notice about making your own seed mix is that now you suddenly have a treat to use with small birds. I hear all the time that people can't come up with a valuable enough treat for their small birds and usually it's because that treat is in the normal diet. So using that seed mix again, not only as a diet conversion tool, but also as a training tool, teaching recall or teaching to play with toys or to self entertain or what have you, whatever you wanna be working on. But having a treat is really important to be able to go further with training Training. And as soon as I converted blueberry to my own seed mix, that's when the commercial seed mix's value went crazy high up and I was able to use spray millet um, as a treat. So a lot of people wonder how do you use spray millet as a treat when it's in their normal diet. Now I actually have millet in my recipe in case you missed that. It's a huge part of this uh, seed mix recipe. But spray millet, tends to be completely different in blueberries' eyes, and so I can do a lot of training with the spray millet that I wouldn't use with my just uh, homemade seed mix. So it works really great that way, and once you're using those awesome ingredients, you'll notice that the value goes up of the stuff that you used to use, and you can use it more strategically. 
Now I do want to point out and make it super clear that when you first switch seed mixes, I offered it all day. So I had it readily available to Blueberry all the time to make sure that weight was maintaining and that it was actually being consumed. Because sometimes it can be kind of hard to tell, especially when there's shells left over and the seed mixes can kind of look the same whether they've been eaten or not. Um, the cool thing with this seed mix is I saw little chew marks in the oats, <laughs> which made it a little bit more obvious. Um, but I just want to make sure that you have a successful transition from your commercial seed mix to your homemade seed mix. And then once that is completed, you can then go on to use your homemade seed mix in variations like this, where I show you with the seasonal feeding recipe and variations to start incorporating new foods in the diet. Little blue. Do they all look good? Good quality? He's like, which one should I eat? This one? No, this one? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and wanting to do better by your small birds and their seed mixes. If you haven't already, please go to my website and check out my seasonal feeding system cookbooks and my natural nutrition course, and you will be on your way to the best nutrition you can possibly offer pet birds. He loves green beans. He's, he's never gonna move. Um, I don't really need the processor cleaned right now. Yeah, that's for the end blue. I need to keep using it. But you can clean the bowls after. Excuse you. <laughs> you love green beans too much, I think. <laughs>